Hello, Real Life fans, back for more. Well, welcome back, uh, and a happy, happy, happy birthday to Otsuki Aruru, who is being cast as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz for her premium or her birthday role. Is she worth your gems? And is she, is she worth banning when you see her in PvP? I'll answer these questions and more in my review of Dorothy. Now, when it talks about her having high act power, it's not kidding. Her act power, this, these stats are not, these are, these are not um, accurate. Her act power is 2,173. That's even higher than Zeus. Her HP is, uh, you know, typical for back row, pretty low, 17,000 about. And her normal defense and special defense are, we'll say the normal defense is kind of like cardboard paper a little bit, and her special defense is straight up trash paper, okay? But her agility, <laughs> her agility is 1,808, making her the new fastest character in the game as far, and I haven't double checked this, but as far as the girls that you're going to be meeting um, in PvP regularly, she's the fastest one. Well, so her stats look like she's going to be a pretty good attacker. And if you're reading the uh, status, it does say she's skilled at targeting enemies at the rear. This means she's skilled at targeting specifically the enemy at the rear. Looking at her basic acts, they all attack the rearmost enemy, not the backmost gr group, not the back row, just the rearmost enemy. And this is important when you're facing her and when you're using her to be uh, aware of. So, you know, speaking of for her first act, Scarecrow's Wisdom. It removes continuous positive effects and it deals medium damage. Medium damage being pretty significant, you know, considering she's higher than Zeus level damage. Uh, the continuous positive effects that she removes, though, is only for the rearmost enemy. If you're looking for someone to clear all of the enemy's uh, positive abilities, you're going to have to wait for Momotaro coming up, as well as Jekyll, who's in the sometime near future, I'm sure. Uh, her tin heart is very much like. Um, Marie Antoinette's, where it gives her a barrier um, both to uh, physical and to special, or normal and to special, um, if you're more familiar with that term. However, she's not quite as strong as Marie's, um, and this will be a pattern you'll see. Um, her physical barrier, normal barrier, is only 8,000 damage that it can eat. Her Same thing for her special damage. Marie's is up at 10,000 each. Uh, again, she deals medium damage to the rear enemy when she does this. Not to the front three, the rear enemy. Finally, Lion's Courage. Again, just like Marie Antoinette's, increases her own act power and her dexterity. Now, one thing that I will mention for both of these is that the barrier and the act power up happen before the damage. It, this isn't so important for the barrier, but when she's increasing her own act and her own dexterity beforehand, that means she's going to hit at that higher damage output in that same attack. Marie, if you noticed, when she uses her attack, she deals the damage, then she gets her buffs. So that's something that Otteru has, or Dorothy has, over Marie Antoinette. However, again, it doesn't really quite measure up. Where Marie Antoinette gets plus 30 or 33 percent, something close to that, um, up for both her for her act power, her dexterity, and critical. Dorothy only boosts first and most. Uh, she only boosts her act power and dexterity, and second, that boost is only 20 percent each. Finally, her climax act, very underwhelming. Uh, so like. Uh, when she first appeared, we thought, oh boy, are we looking at another Sue the Crane, um, another premium girl that just isn't very useful at all, especially in PvP, uh, or particularly for PvP. Let me say that. Sue the Crane is still good for PvE. But uh, it's just like Tamamo, just like Sue the Crane. She deals 10 um, attacks, medium damage, not very high, to 10 random targets. So this can be provoked. But each time it hits, it has a 20% chance of stunning that target. So, yeah, I mean, stun is pretty good, but and it's maybe a little bit better than blind. I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But the Climax Act as a whole is pretty underwhelming, not something I'm looking to racing for. 
Okay, her unit skill is global, flower, not too uh, significant, but she doesn't rely on anyone. She doesn't boost anyone. She's just got a kind of a, she's just kind of got a meh uh, kit for that. But her auto skills are where things get uh, interesting again. And that is not a typo. She does get 20 brilliance per turn. Okay, so speaking of memoirs, when you're using her, you should be using perfect aim with her. Okay, whether that's temporary or permanent, I would recommend permanent. But whatever it is, you should be running perfect aim so she's hitting with all her attacks. And because you really don't need to worry about getting her to climax, she'll get there by herself. And not to mention, um, I mean, further pushing the permanent perfect aim, her, her climax really isn't that good in the first place. So why are you racing to get to it? Use the perfect aim so you can you can deal as much damage as possible while you still have it. She has a couple of evades, which helps with uh, survivability, especially against uh, Zeus um, or anyone that might be looking to just nuke her right away. Um, her finishing act, obviously, is flower. So as far as reviewing her, well, I've already talked about the memoir. Okay, When you use her, you can use her as a two or a three girl. I would probably recommend two girl with her um, because she doesn't benefit from really any back. Uh, she doesn't really benefit from any mid buck, mid bulk, because she's back row. Um, so if you're gonna meme with her, I would just use two girls. Okay, and if I do meme with her, the only time I would do it is if I know that my opponent doesn't have any counters. Well, what are those counters? You might be wondering. Well, Marie Antoinette is a pretty good counter for her, as well as any other um, uh, big snow users. Like uh, maybe even if you have Jubei, if, so if we're talking like lower levels, you have Jubei, I'd bring Jubei against Dorothy. Um, you could bring, um, obviously, Nyahiru and Pollux are just nasty to deal with for Dorothy. Um, just the type advantage is really, really, really difficult to overcome especially because it's, we're, we're talking two girl again. Um, as well as Zeus, you need to make sure that <laughs> you keep your Zeus's under control. Um, and if you're running against her and you're bringing Zeus, you do have to be aware Zeus is usually going to be the rearmost. And uh, <laughs> Aru will tear her at absolute new one, especially if she doesn't have fortitude and, and she's at the, at the back. You want to make sure you get your Zeus off and you're able to nuke down Dorothy in time that she's not able to just pick you apart and keep her barriers up. But again, her barriers aren't quite as good. Her defenses aren't going to be quite as good, um, especially because she doesn't get that mid bulk again. So be aware of that. When you're using her, or when you're using Marie, same for both of them, only try to use them in two or three girl lineups when you're using them in those lineups. Only do it when you know your opponent doesn't have counters for them. Okay. Uh, she does kind of fit into a five-girl lineup if you're running back row. Um, it's not the best. It's kind of hit or miss. She can get a little bit crazy if you get like a couple of her cards. You can play around with it. Maybe you find a flower team that really works for her. Um, but overall, in regards to should you pull, I would vote this a very hard no. Um, that's not saying she's not a good girl, um, and it's not saying that she's as bad as Sue the Crane. What I'm saying with uh, the hard no is we need to rest. We need to let our gems rest. We need to save our gems because we're in a world where basically every birthday girl we're seeing is basically the new hottest thing, and we finally have one where she's not the new hottest thing. So this is the opportunity we have to save our gems. Um, Momotaro is coming up. Yuyuko birthday is coming up. Save your gems for those. I'll try and get an earlier um, review for Yuyuko, but we'll see. Uh, but uh, lastly, should you ban? She's a tier one ban if you do not have counters. Same as Marie. Okay, but you have to consider: Do you have any sort of counters? Jubei, I mentioned. Jubei alone is not enough. Okay, you need to have high damage output to take her down, as well as you know, if you have someone who can nuke her buffs, great. But the thing with Dorothy that makes her a little bit more susceptible, in addition to her weaker effects, is she just um, attacks the rearmost. So if you have your front uh, most uh, girls 
at high damaging outputs, you can get to her in time. Okay, but you have to do something about her barriers. So again, tier one ban, if you have counters, she falls to a tier seven. The same as all the other damage dealers that are out there. You just kind of don't worry about her. So this is my review on Dorothy. I hope if you do pull for her that you get her, but please save your gems. This has been Steven. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you later.